And we're back. And we're back. And I got my buffs on feeling strong. Had to pick some weights up. How you feel? You feel better with your shades on? Definitely feel way cooler. I, I like that. So next to next to the game, anybody else you want to talk about in the game? Tasha Mack being the I think Tasha Mack and the Malik strong Malik. black woman lead that we needed. Ooh wee, okay, With Tasha Mack. Yeah, Tasha Mickey Mack. Wendy Ray Kell did. You didn't watch the Steve Harvey show, but if you seen Wendy Ray Ray Kell Robinson go from the Steve Harvey show to the game, it's like watching your auntie like divorce the nigga she was cheating on or who cheated on her and just come up and get a bigger bag. Like you already fought with your auntie before the divorce, now you really rock with her. He don't know nothing. She said, I don't know nothing. So, what, what other 2000 show would you pick? Because if we go in the game. I'm going to go Everybody Hates Chris. Because, every, you know, everybody hates Chris, but I love that show. You feel me? Everybody does hate Chris. It was very truthful. Being the older sibling, having to do everything. Your girl, everything. your brother getting more girls than you. You wearing his hand me down. Your mama, daddy hates you. Like, everybody, everybody really hates this man. And can I talk about the quick, like, Kara character development that chris had i mean mm, from it starts off like what nine ten what a lot he was like 13 he was really little he was just little he was just kind of little. little yeah he was little yeah. <laughs> he was about like 12 yeah he was like 12 and then you kind of get to like 18 and he's cool 12 you know, remember the episode bullied. of jay's he had on he had on jay's that one episode he was getting his way remember the episode when he had to work with his dad on the mail truck yes yikes bro. yikes Yikes. His dad was cussing up a storm. He was like, you don't talk like this at home, Pop. Yeah, that man got to wake up at 4 in the morning. He ain't speaking no good language. Yeah, right? He's he cussing out person. everybody he come in contact with. He working. He out there working. What, but what about you? What are you? What type of <laughs> shows are you going for? I'm curious. The game is top five, not five. I'm giving the game its praises. I'm also going to go with one-on-one with Kyla mm. Pratt. Okay. Young Queen. She like ran her and Flex ran that show for five seasons. Seeing a young black woman with a group of black friends, like if it's black, I'm gonna tune in. That, right. That's really all I really need. Kyla Pratt and being she was funny and she was stylish. Kyla Pratt got some comedic timing. Yeah. And then I'm if I'm she's going, iconic. Yeah. Kyla Pratt is definitely iconic. Yeah. I'm going late two thousands. I mean, I'm going two thousands. Oh, in the Proud Family. She. Oof. I'm sorry. We are gonna get into that a little later, but. One on one, the proud family, girlfriends. If you, I watch the game, my mama watch girlfriends. Like, she the reason why I started watching girlfriends. To be completely honest, like it would be on in the background, and I had no idea what they were talking about on the show. Then I got older, and I was like, oh my goodness, this is everything. <laughs> nah, <laughs> and they literally. And on the show, like, and then girlfriends, girlfriends is so black, just like the game, because they made by the shout out Mar Brock and Kill. The, they're made by the same person. So the truthfulness about just being black and how we do, they talk about everything, class, socialism, colorism. Literally. Niggas. Like, all angles. <laughs> top, top, top two shows, Girlfriends in the Game. <clears throat> Along with t- uh, 2,000 shows mm-hmm. regarding black people, mm-hmm. I'm definitely going to put The Wire up there. Definitely. Um, the Wire is so grit, so hard. It's so like, he grabs you in, and it's like, wow, this is this is powerful. Real this show. is the game. Like this is this is cops and robbers in real life. Like this is this See, is iconic TV. I ain't tapped into the wire just yet. I'm a little. Hey man, baby steps. You know, I seen, I seen, I seen it most. Take time. It takes time. It's no problem. I seen most shows. The Wire is not one of them, but it's on the list. It's on. It's on a streamer. What's it on? It's on HBO Max. HBO Max. HBO Max has everything. Shout out HBO, HBO Max. Max. Come sponsor the show, HBO Max. If y'all Please. looking for a black audience, we got it. Please, we got y'all. HBO Max. Shout out y'all again. No, I'm tapping to The Wire for sure. For no, sure, that's for shit. Sure, for that's sure. that's cinema. That is peak cinema. Um, I never watched Girlfriends. My mom was pretty big on Girlfriends, though. I couldn't get into it. I was more so Tony watching, Joan, Maya Lynn. Yeah, I was see I was watching like the Boondocks over over girlfriends. Shout out Regina King. Yeah. Voice Riley and Huey. Animal. And Huey. Yeah, that's crazy. Once again, it's another truthful show. Like they don't It's real. Yeah. It's like 
animated reality. Yeah. Because that's a really, that's a black household. Like, that's that that's real. Uncle Ruckus is a real person. Uncle, a coon. A yeah. coon magoon, that boy. Ra- that raccoon real. Coon magoon. Like, I know some people who black, beautiful, dark-skinned black people. Not even dark-skinned, just beautiful black people. And are just coons. And I just can't for the life of me see why you would want to be an Uncle Ruckus. But yeah. they real life don't believe in, in they people. I hope you change. I hope something better happens to where you ain't got to keep doing That'd that. That would be a cool one. Nah, yeah. Ry- Riley just being the ignorant, like he's being the, the the stereotype of the ignorant young black person who just don't care, don't give a damn. Huey being super woke. Grandpa being like this. First of all, the fact that Grandpa bring up the fact that he's a civil rights leader in every episode, <laughs> <laughs> just let me know he wasn't doing nothing when MLK and then was marching. Literally, like he wasn't on no bus. He wasn't marching to Selma. That contribution was non-existent. He just wanted to wear. Stri- he just wanted to wear the stripes. He just wanted people to know that he was he old. Basically, that's what he's trying to tell us. He an old nigga that was around with MLK. I and, was there. I was in the area. But yeah, yeah. See, I wasn't dying with them. Absolutely not. For real. I, ooh, even Tom. Tom being another version of it. Uncle Tom. Yikes. Yeah. yeah. With, yikes. That's why the Boondocks is so because it's so smart. That's real life. That's really how people interact and 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 live in their skin. But they added the comedic element, so it's like we're gonna serve you these messages, but we not gonna beat you over the head with it. Tight shit. That's what I'm rocking with. Yeah. Kinda so like, hey, look, guys, and then it's like. But hey, this is real shit. This is really how you look. It's at funny, it. but it's real too. So don't get it twisted. Nah, you you see these characters in real life. A lot of cool magoons and you see them next to you, your partners, your homeboys, the people you look up to. Woo. Your homegirls. Wait a minute, like, you ain't had that homegirl. Black women don't. Sh- sh- shut up. I'm all shut the, black shut, women. shut the fuck up. We ain't did that wrong. What? I said, don't even try to be that person. <laughs> don't even be trying to be that advocate. <laughs> Kevin won't ever let let me stand on the on the black woman. Let me stand on the black woman. No, nah, I let you stand black woman because I stand black woman. But don't you try to act like you know you know like what, what you what? be. Don't like, try what, to. What 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 what? You trying to bait me right now? <laughs> and I ain't going. When we write, we write. Yeah. And when you wrong, you wrong. You don't be wrong though. Ah. Black women ain't wrong though. Black women ain't wrong, no. Black women, black women ain't wrong, no. Okay. If I'm, that's what you want to say, if that's what you want to believe, I'm going to let you rock out, gang. That's I'm, on you. I'm going to be 10 toes there, huh? 10 toes and rock. We'll be right, we'll be right. Yeah, I got quiet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I got quiet, y'all. Y'all heard, y'all heard that. <laughs> Four <laughs> seconds of silence. We'll be right, we'll be right. God damn it. So, Kev. You know we do these verses, verse I, blank versus blank, every every episode, right? I actually no. What? F what you talking about? As we talking about the wire. Okay. I would also like to just point out and shout out. Who you want to talk about? One actor. Your boy. My boy. Not my boy. I fuck with him, but he's not my boy. Michael B. Jordan. Yes. First season. That's it. He's in there. He's out of there. Whatever he happened. Has one season. One season. Wow, he's like I'm not being funny. He, his character is really like that. Like he's like 16. Season. He's a kid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That one season is enough for you to be like, nah, he like that. I'm be. I'm really asking. His acting's okay. okay. <laughs> no, I'm. Try- I'm. I'm really asking. No, it's his role. Okay. It's his role. He got a pretty major role. That's what I was trying to figure out. Yada yada yada. Whoop de woo. In his role, something major happens. He's a part of it, and then he kind of. He does some major role shit, and then tell, I, the wire has been out for a few years now. He's so been, you think I could just? I mean, you know, I so like to know what's going Michael on. Michael B. Jordan is the reason why somebody dies. Jesus. It's on his conscience. He thinks that young he, man. The, the the gang that he's running with thinks that he's gonna go to the police, which the police does have him kind of tampered. And um, yeah, so they kill him. <laughs> They killed Michael B. The Jordan. police killed Michael B. No, the oh. gang. The gang. Okay. I was going to say, good you know. lord. Y'all going out like Wood that. Wood Harris. Wood Harris kills Michael B. Idris Elba. <laughs> they killed Michael B. Jordan. Not them, but they, they ordered they the They set head. the word out. Yeah. The word and, and they smoke Michael B. Jordan, and he pees on himself as he's getting shot. 
Very dramatic. So this show really is great. gritty. Gritty. Nice. Because Michael B. Jordan's like, no, y'all, we grew up together. Like, they made his homeboys kill him. And he's crying. Like, yo, yo, don't do this. We boys, man. And both of his partners, this is like, you weren't cut out for this, man. <laughs> and then he passed it to his other partner, and they shoot him. I can snowfall in. And it is even worse, because Michael B. Jordan was taking care of kids in the show. Yeah, in that same trap house. This show sucks. What? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's... It's like when Franklin had old boy kill old boy in Snowfall. Mm-hmm. First season. But they're not kids. Franklin, they're like... Okay, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're Franklin's right. A, he's like 21. Yeah, he's, he's, like he's out of college. Yeah, 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 yeah. Michael B. Jordan just turned 16 like last week, so... Gritty. He damn near still 14 for real, if we're being honest. Yeah. I'll tap into event. You know how sh- you come around the shows. Yeah. Like sometimes it's like yeah, I'll watch this later, and then later is the time you can really get into it. And then you locked in, like watching TV shows late, like Snowfall. Snowfall. The game in Snowfall <laughs> will forever get their flowers on this here. Snowfall forever. Pocket. Them flowers forever. Snowfall. I jumped into Snowfall late. I remember people watching season one and two of Snowfall, and they'd be so into it. I'm like, I'm just not there yet. Not not yet. Now. Now I got on Snowfall four years later from the Oof. from the original release date. They had some long breaks, granted, but they I ain't get on season I ain't get on Snowfall till season four the, came out. With Man Boy. Ooh. Yeah. So that, I was that the, the pandemic I think that was the pandemic year season two. I think a lot of people got on during the panty. Yeah, we got bored. Yeah. <laughs> people needed something to watch. And Snowfall was that. Season one, they had to like, they had to get over some humps. By the time season two came around, and he had killed Andre, it was that's when I that's when I was that's when I got into it. When he because yeah, he, he had no Andre, choice, yeah. he had no choice. It was like I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill the cop, or he gonna put me in jail, and my mama's still gonna be broke. We ain't gonna have no money, no money. Unk's still gonna be selling weed, like dime bags, not weed, dime bags. Dime, ooh, when ten, he when we were ten dollar pops. Home, when Louis came home, he was like, I made $200,000. $100,000 for me. 100000 for you. That's when I was like, oh, man. They life really done changed. Yeah, thanks to Franklin. It's that boy Saint. He a cold, cold one. Shout out um, Mr. Idris for for being Franklin Saint, honestly. Mr. Mr. Damn Damn. He people didn't think he was British. She people thought this was like, me. When he started talking real life, I was like, "That motherfucker could have said he was Australian." I'd be like, "What for real?" Because he coming. What's up, cuz? What's up, man? Man boy, man boy got the package at the location, cuz. Nah, no bad. You would have never, <laughs> never thought that nigga was damn near British. What's up, Unc? Louis? Yeah. <laughs> you know? What's up, Lee? I love it, Lee. What's up, Lee? Real talk on Snowfall. Would you want Leon and Wanda to get back together? Yes. Don't answer the question. I answered it for you. It's okay. You saying no? Leon finna take her on a trip out the country. All right. Bro. Let's next conversation, please. You, you're not. You, why are you anti this relationship? I'm not. It's just like man. What? I'm, I'm they really, both have some I also don't even like the way Leon's character is heading. He's heading to like reformality. Where else is he gonna go? Become a, a straight guy, not a straight guy, but like straight yeah. edge. Like you know, let me rebuild the community. Yeah. Nah, I want him to hop out with them choppers, man. I want him to continue the way he the way he rolling. But he. I'd rather like, continue his path of evil. And just die. That's his only option. Yes. That's what's going to... I mean, that's, what, that's Franklin's path right now. Franklin is fin to... He's going to be on some shit when they come back. Mm-hmm. Stealing from his uncle and auntie. Killing all they people. He, He's insane. He done pissed Reed off. Reed stole his $75 million. I, I don't even... Where is he? And he got a baby on the way. What is he going to do, Kevin? Somebody got to. Somebody got to be. All the bad started when Peaches stole. You think it Peaches? It all. I think Peaches got AIDS, and that's why we haven't seen him. Cause we in that. Said, we haven't seen Peaches because he stole the money from Franklin. I don't think he stole it. They didn't confirm that. Yes, Just they like we, did. No, they, didn't. they think it's Peaches. No, they didn't. They you don't. Think you it's don't peaches. think it's Peaches? No, I think this is. What I'm, if we're going with how 
history went timeline of the 80s i think peach because he was coughing do you not remember he was coughing up a storm and franklin was looking at him like what is wrong with like we the episode when he killed rock he was looking at peaches like what is wrong with you he was coughing i think he has aids yeah i do i don't think he stole the money i think it's a I don't says, know coughing doesn't on. lead to aids no back in the if we're in the mind frame of the 80s, Yo, the- Kev, if we're in the mind frame of the 80s, and because they're <laughs> they're going in order of how the, just the years went, it was a big AIDS epidemic in the 80s, if anyone's in and the he show, was getting sick. And if, this, any, if anyone in the show is going to have AIDS, it's going to come out to be like Wanda or something. No, it's not because she's reformed. She went to rehab. She, she's straight edge now. Leon wasn't even trying to put her back in the game. He don't want her near that. Wanda... I think, first of all, we got to keep in mind, season six coming up is the last season. So whatever going to happen, you know, their character arcs are basically built. They killed Avi, for God's sake. Yeah, this show finna be over. You know what I'm saying? Like, the character arcs are there. Leon finna be reformed. Uh, Wanda off that shit. Louis finna go down. I hope they kill Louis. <laughs> Shoot Louis in the freaking eye socket. She cheese. I ain't lying. <laughs> She's she sick. She be blowing it. She's sick. Her character. You know she's from the boot, huh? Yeah. She from the boot side. Stop. La Jos. But no, nah, what she, is up with I you? I don't even. Like, I'm, I'm, I might be around. Never mind. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think, I think Louis is a detriment to the family. She just married this man, uncle, and now she putting out hits. She teamed up with the f- police. She got a police guard dog. She ain't got no money now. And she a newlywed. And I don't know if um why was I finna call him Stacy? Not Stacy. You know who I'm talking about. He plays Stacy on the wood. Scully. I wonder if Get Scully really rock <laughs> I wonder if Scully really rock with the family or not. Cause he don't because he laced the that's wedding. That's what I'm trying to figure out. But they just helped him out. They just they, man, you got bro, they putting the show in your face. You doing that double linking analytics shit. Peach just stole the money, <laughs> and Scully wants to kill them. That's what I'm saying, because ain't no way Leon done killed his daughter, and now he just... Yeah, he ain't him. finna just be going but to the wedding. But if he would've really did something, I feel like he would've did it at the wedding, He's though. gonna do it when the time comes. You think it's gonna be Scully that bring the whole shit down? They have so many enemies. No, yeah. They have so many, like, people who are anti everything they got going on. You don't know... And we don't know if Alton is alive! That nigga dead. They don't say it. I'm not thinking if he was dead, they would say it. You know what Alton's I'm saying? They dead. keep leaving it open as if he might. He's on the beach of Cuba right now. Alton is dead. Him. I don't. I don't give a damn who say what. Alton dead. He dead as hell too. Like he's super dead. He better be. I feel like if he would, we have no update on this man whatsoever. Cause he dead. Watch him come, bro. Everybody coming back. Season six is going to be just a while. It's going to be, you know how they had the episode with three shootouts? It's going to be a shootout every episode. There's no way. You think you think, you think think Jerome going to be cool with what Franklin did at the end of season four, season five? You think he going for that? You think Louie going? Louis, Franklin tried to smoke her at the meetup. And she had her cop uh, watchdog pull the pistol out and was going to go in on this man. So what Frank Saint had to do, go tell Kane who set him up. First of all, she got the LAPD involved in some gangs. Yeah, shit, so it, it's over. Well, Louis gonna die. What? Louis gonna die a real death. She getting police what? involved and shit. And then they they he had the telefake story and they shot and killed people they weren't supposed to shoot and yeah. kill. Kane's still alive. Now Kane, everybody hate that family. Everybody hate the Saints. Kane hate Louis. Scully hate Leon. The CIA hate Franklin. Everybody just everybody did. That's a lot. Un- understood. Uh, so now you know every episode we do a versus. Yeah, who we got? Of who 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 not not has the best movies because we gonna watch them regardless. It don't watch them regardless. We gonna root for them regardless. Yeah, these these movies and shows still getting watched. It no matter what we say. Who got who win the versus or what is quality content. Yeah. But this this episode we got Kyler Pratt. Okay. Versus. Okay, okay, okay. Let me know. Raven Simone. Ooh. Now as a black as a black woman. Let me hear it. Seeing Kyla and Raven as a as a jit, mm. I was like, wow, they're funny. Okay. They dress cool. They black. They like they're black, and I can tell. And I'm just like, wow, you look like me. Hair the same. Yeah. All of that. So I I love both these women. 
I've seen them in literally everything going up. Kyla all up in episodes of Living Single with Queen Latifah, Legendary. Kyla in so many Nike commercials. So like I was saying, Kyla Pratt, Raven Simone, Raven been working since she was four. 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 And she had a rap career. Can't beat that. She really lived like the black black girl life. Young, money, rich, all that. So all who you it. who who you going with? We going with Kyla Pratt. We got to talk about the two biggest, which is one on one, of course. Mm-hmm. And we also going with she the proud family. That's hey, iconic. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. We be talking about like top five shows, all that. Proud family might be one of the blackest TV shows of all time. They weren't afraid to put that blackness out yeah, there for us. They celebrated Kwanzaa. BB and TV. Cece was black as hell. The little afros. Yeah. Kev. The grandmama living in the house. Yeah. Like, you get Tommy Davidson. On li- oh, he was on Living Color. You get Paula J. White to be Trudy. She was in Friday. Kyla Pratt and Young Turn doing her thing. The grandmama was the mama in Family Matters. Like, we got yeah. some black heavy hitters. They had. Real quality black people, if I'd like to say. No, and then and then just how they spoke the music, Destiny Child sung the theme song. This this is this this Major. strictly for the niggas. This is for the niggas. Strictly for the niggas, huh? This is for the niggas. Strictly for the niggas. This is for the niggas. The what what the, the real niggas. niggas? Yeah. Proud family one on one. But then if you look at Raven Simone, <clears throat> can I just start off by saying that Go Raven through. Simone was a cheetah girl? Oh wow, you went with that out the rip. I'm not even. No, you went with a, a hard one though. You know, I wasn't necessarily watching the Cheetah Girls, but <laughs> I have seen the Cheetah you Girls. You gotta strut like you what? mean it. And Free your mind. That's iconic because they went all over the world and all of that. She was global. Yeah. Yeah. And they were selling music too. Yeah. Wearing I, fur coats and shit like that. I had the Cheetah Girls CD. Hmm. Um, I was Cheetah Licious, was I not? Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. I was. I, and Raven, you know, Raven from Atlanta. Kyla versus Ra- Ravens from Atlanta? Raven Simone's from Atlanta, Georgia. Raven Simone's from Atlanta, Georgia. Wow. So I mean, she she went points right there. They were both in Doctor Doolittle's Kyla Pratt. What? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they they were they were hey. <laughs> they were the one. The ones for real. They were the one. Kyla Pratt also she was in Fat Albert with Keenan Thompson. So it, yeah. She showed up. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like we got. I don't know. We got. But some thanks movies. to Ravens, I want to also say this. What this is not movie? about being an actor, or mm-hmm. actress, but she also like. From oh, her, from that so Raven created Corey in the house, like Cut Corey in the house. You feel me? Watch like, your mouth, something like that. He said something like that. That's so Raven was so cold because like she sees into the future. That's bro, so she designed Raven. all of her outfits. She and Raven Simone is so fun. Like if you really watch that so Raven, she was doing her own stuff. What's that show nowadays? When she have her kids now, Raven's she has a show. Home, now. She has a show now. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Kyla Pratt, you're amazing, you're beautiful, you're talented. Raven? She got to be by a little bit. Raven was a Xenon, too. Mm, what do you know about that? Chill out. Well, I... But that was a space? Chill yeah, out. Yeah, that was a space. Chill out. Xenon, girl of the 21st century. Yeah, I know Yo. about Xenon. Oh, that's a good movie. Man, if you don't get choked. The Disney classic. Raven yeah. was it? Raven was a walking Disney classic. Raven was the face of Disney Channel, the yeah. queen of Disney. All the other shows that came out, you know, we had Hannah Montana, we had Wizards of Waverly Place, we had yeah. so we had some great, and I watched them. We had some great shows, but we not we talking about the queen. Ah, we, oof. Ah, we talking about the ruler ah. of Disney Channel. Without her. There would be no them. Real talk. Raven had people glued to, and she's funny. Yeah, Raven. Raven, Raven Simone is funny. actually like hilarious. Yes. Even at her older age yes. on this new show, it's comedy. Yes, because she just show. Because there's this quote like people who do comedy, they're like comedy is about being like the ugliness, the truth, you know, showing it all. She goes there. If it's a stunt, if she got a roll on the floor, she rolling. She gonna if roll she on the floor. If she got to get feathers and and makeup and whatever else, all she had a beak 
on her nose for a whole episode dressed up in clay. Like that for a performer, that ain't no easy feat. She the amount of times life. you've seen Raven dress up as a man or just do anything, <laughs> it's just like dress up in period. She will do she the nitty gritty disguise. to make you laugh. Bro. Yes. I like Raven for that. And she really dressed cool. up as the, remember the uh, black, I was going to say Black Lives Matter. That was not out at the time. The Black History Month episode where she wanted to get a job. And, they and that white lady job. said, we're not hiring We do not black. hire black people. I yeah, her friend Chelsea day. was a part of that shit. Oh, Chelsea's man. just slow. Yeah. And, and cool, got cool partner, though. Nah, for sure. The Bro. vegan. She was vegetarian vegan before it was cool. She, and she was funny. Chelsea, that cast is really. It's really great. Because everybody funny. Everybody's like, we're here for the We're here for the jokes. Let's get these jokes. But we, I'm going to give Kyla Pratt some more praise between yeah. Dr. Doolittle. She was also on Love and Basketball. Ooh. Cla- Young Monica. Young Monica. Classic. I ain't. That's a oh. that opening when she on the car. Oh, he was on the car, but when they was playing basketball and she serving him up, and he was a hater. Hater, of course you can't. A hater. You gotta hate. And pushed her off the thing. And hurt her ass. Sick. Now she got. Cause we, you were the one who put this scar here when we were eleven years old. That's how you keep it. You know, like, That's how you get a woman. Trauma. What? what? <laughs> Who said that? What? That nah, is I'm not just kidding, high. guys. This is love and basketball. It was a joke. That's how, <laughs> that's, that's how he got her, though. He got her through that trauma, though. No, she was a dog on that court, and she was whooping she be his cute. at. I'm just saying. Excuse me? Say it again? Quincy, Monica couldn't whoop cute in a game of one-on-one, and we're not finna count that lame-ass last. <laughs> 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 We're not talking about that last scene. She could whoop his ass. Nah. He got bad knees. Yeah, she's taking that nigga. Are you kidding me? On a one-on-one game, who winning, Monica or Quincy? Quincy. Monica. Quincy. Are you kidding me? Nah. He he not that cold compared to her. Okay. She a playmaker. Stop. Kev, there's no. She was in the WNBA. What he doing at home with our baby? (laughs) (laughs) Blew his knee out. He on the sideline watching his girl playing the WNBA. I'm pretty sure he could still dunk after the injury. Who's in the professional basketball league? Thank you very much, Monica. Monica, take it out. I'm gonna let you have that. We gonna let yeah, y'all let us know who y'all think went in a one on one. Monica or Quincy? I'm I'm going Monica. Cash. She cold. She cold. She she in that drip. We ain't never seen a Q practicing nothing. He think it's his daddy, the uh, NBA nigga, that he just so cold because cause that's it. <laughs> she in there putting in work. Our girl putting in work. She making curfew. She Point guards lead from the front, not the back. Stop. She like that. You, you riding for Monica way too she, hard. She, she took her. <laughs> Looking at it's like get back on D, Monica, Monica. Like, come on, bro. Man. But that she, that was a part of the learning process. And now nah. she went overseas to Spain and won a and won a championship. What are we talking about? She was a professional before he was. Bro, she was a, she was a professional running championships while he in the hospital with a busted knee. I can't prevent injuries. Shit happens. You can't. Shit, shit does happen. But <laughs> well, we, on, we talking about the facts. If we just going off what happened based on. Because if Quincy would have won a championship in the W in the NBA, we'd be bringing that up right now. That'd be an epic. Like, but what? she won. She won a championship in overseas, and she's in the WNBA. That's what, great. And what know, is she doing? Changing our baby's diapers. I like. I like that. Stay at home dads. Take care of your kids. So, shout out to the stay at home dads, man. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank you for everything you do. And shout out to the women bringing home the bacon. Bringing home the cheddar, boss woman status. Thank you very much. I like much. that. I Shout like out to the that. women. Shout out to the women. This is for the women. Strictly for, for the, the women. women. Hey, this, this is, is for, for the, the women. women. Strictly for the, the real women. women. I like that. So, Kyla Pratt or, or, or Raven Simone, we going with who? Raven Simone. No, Raven. By three points. That's. It's close. I don't know. Proud family. Proud family, that's a lot of points. Uh, Proud family not, and they back. Dang, that, that's I like raven. black shows coming back. That's a raven is hard. If I'm saying, them two heavy hitters, it's a lot of good content between the both of them. It's great content between the both of them. Honestly, epic. Some would say. Dang, I'm going with both. Fuck it, I'm picking both. <laughs> Who you picking? I'm, I'm locking with Raven. Okay, Iconic. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. 
Funny. 20 years from now, you know, we'll we'll mention Miss Pratt. Don't get me wrong. Oh, but, bro, she's walking to a loan. And she was doing, she was doing Proud Family and One on One at the same time. That's crazy. That's hard. Those stars, man. Hard. Stars back then were really stars. Yeah. Like, epic. She on Disney Channel, NCW, VPN, one of the black networks. Crazy. Two, two checks, shawty. So, Kev, I heard you, uh... You might have some quotes for me. Oh, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. I got your number. I can't wait to get it. Because, you know, if we talking about quotes, I think I'm winning. We got to do a tally and figure out who doing what. But I think I think I do my thing. I think I know my I think I know my movies. Now, we did, a, you know, Players Club and and uh, The Wood. And we did Paid in Full the other day. And, you know, you almost had them. Kind of, sort of, didn't. But what you got for me today? <laughs> Guns are blazing. Okay, Oof, I thought my phone was freezing. If my phone would have froze. We would have been in. Because I'm that. Because I'm that cold. Oh no, my phone. My phone has frozen. My phone has indeed frozen. I bet it. Did, did, this was you get for having so, uh, eighty apps open. I don't have that many apps open, so I'm going to take your laptop. I'm glad I remember the three movies that I chosen. I'm crying. You want to talk shit. Do you want to run your mouth? You, you want, want some gangsters from your motherfucking house? We'll Will. set this. What? Set this. What? Set this mother love. Oh. On. They call me bad at it. And I'm my bad it. You ain't my people, you ain't going in none of it. And the lunch table. I told my mom I'm thinking outside, I don't need cake. Okay. What you know about LaBoose? LaBoose? Who's LaBoose? LaBoose? You hear me saying the E? Lovers. Lord help these women. Don't worry, I'm coming. Because I know the quote. I'm not here. afraid. Uh, wow, I was finna get your dog up some points. I'm not singing that shit. Mm, too it's, easy. It's young gonna and your wheezy, man. This shit too easy. Free, them, free, free the guys. What little baby be saying? Free the, free the bros. That's too easy. Fuck it, I got you. <clears throat> Anybody. Are you ready? I'm not as scared of you. Are you ready? I'm not as scared. <laughs> <coughs> a man just comes along and he buys us off a shelf. <gasps> and then he plays. Plays with us until he thinks we're no longer fun. Two can play that game. <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> Got him. Or until he gets us all dirty, right? And then he just wants to throw us away. This Toy Story? What is this? No. Jungle Fever. <coughs> Ooh, you rusty today. A man just... Who's saying the Lynn Winfield? Yeah. I knew. This a... Ooh, this is a thin line between love <laughs> yeah. and hate. Yeah. Ooh. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. It's crazy you knew the actress Ooh. before you knew the movie. <laughs> I was like, I know. I was like, it's a bad. It's a, it's a woman getting into it. Yeah. This quote might be easy. That was a good one. I know. Yeah. That's that a good, good quote. That's a good quote for sure. I really thought you good. would have guessed it off the rip after a while. Cause it was in that realm of like relationships. Yeah, it was like, just kind of like yeah. A lot of black women could have said that one. Yeah, I know what you I'm doing. You can play that game with a cold movie yeah. though. Okay. <laughs> that was good, Kev. I like that one. Hey, y'all, you ready for number two? Go crazy. Don't even trip, Mama. She just mad because she boat legged. Shut up. That's <laughs> loving basketball. <laughs> Don't even trip, girl. She just back and she bow legged. Yeah. The only reason she decided not to come is because Tanya Randall got pregnant. They yeah. were done recruiting. That shit was easy. Damn. <laughs> that was easy. Because they were done recruiting. That's good, though. If you, if you don't know the movie, you wouldn't know that line. Yeah. You wouldn't know that line. And then we was talking about loving basketball earlier. So yeah, I'd be, like, be on it. I'd be in the pocket, baby. Let me think. Come on. Her. Mm. Don't trip, mom. That's too easy. I can't do that one. She just mad because she bow legged. <laughs> I'm, I'm like that. Uh, you think? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. No. This one's too easy. I can't do that movie. Her. 
I can't do that one, y'all. This movie number three. It's a lot he can't do. Where's that? Because I'm her. And I'm going to get him. Nigga, watch out. Watch out. I'm going to get him. That's what that means. You think so, huh? Kev, I, I pulled a thin line out of my ass. Are you kidding me? No, that's too easy. Too. I pulled Johnson's from vacation out of my ass. That was hard. You better come with that fire. <laughs> Don't say it if you know I'm going to get it right there. I'm, you not. You At least you shouldn't. Being a black man in America isn't easy. The hunt is on. And you're the prey. All I'm saying. You think I'm not going to know that? All that's, I'm saying. That's, that's Mr. Five. Mr. Butler from. God damn. Yes, the hunt is on. <laughs> and you're the prey. He was intense okay. with it. Okay. Come on, come on now. I, d- I didn't think you was listening to Mr. Butler like that. I was. You know, sometimes I wish it was like some deep black woman stuff. I like that y'all get y'all's points though. Because you need a strong black man to Because we need. Yeah, yeah. For real. 110%. But Kane didn't listen. He didn't. So it's like, what's the point? Exactly. If you gonna be a knucklehead, in, and then Sharif died. Oh my god. Poor Sharif. Poor Sharif died over nothing. He was D- a, died being with your partners. The fact that O Dog was the one to make it. <laughs> is O Dog and Stacy? It go to show like the irony in this. He started the movie off causing all the chaos, and he lived through the rest of it. Cause I don't even think Kane. I don't think Kane was a bad. Dude. No, he just didn't have no, like Kodak said. I'm not a bad kid. I just didn't have no guidance. Me not quoting Kodak Black. Kane could have. Kodak is not Kane. He's not. But Kane, that bar resonates with him. It do. He Kane, Kane was a Kane hustler. Had no guidance. He was a. Yeah, he was. You can't call him a hustler because he was. He, but he is. The only, the only, well, he got in a lot of trouble, but I don't think he brought, you can't, he didn't bring the car jacking on himself. He did. How? He went to go jack a car. What do you no, mean? No, no, I meant his cousin. Sorry. Oh, no, that's just. That's what I'm saying. That's on a byproduct. That's bad luck. Yeah. <laughs> you wrong place, wrong now, time. Okay, now him robbing the nigga for his rims, yeah, shitty. Okay. Anytime him and old dog. Oh, yeah, shitty. That's what I was talking okay, about. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, well, shit, maybe he, maybe he did. I completely missed. Maybe he did, but it, it's not. Oh, it is harmless. Don't steal people. Just. I remember what movie I was doing. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm taking a hell of a movie long. that Dumb just whoop his ass on. Like what? Oh, you're not gonna know this one though. I know you though. It's, it's cool, gang. She's not. What's the anime shit? And then that's when he knew or some shit like that. Where they look at the camera. What's the What's the TikTok one? And the nigga was too sudden to speak. Yeah. <laughs> Where he's like, they're doing it. They're doing it. Ooh, I'm putting That's too easy. Man, I'm her. I got you. <laughs> this could be funny, though. Watch me funny. watch me know it off the bat. All on the phone, spreading my business out there. He on the other end talking about, yeah, I know you live with your mama. I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> <laughs> what movie that is, Hazard? That's baby boy. Ah! <laughs> I just Who to was that? Light that. skin? Is that? No, that's Jody. That's Jody. <laughs> that's Jody talking Tyrese to Snoop. Tyrese was turned he, up. He yelling at Yvette because <laughs> she telling Snoop. She ain't telling that ball. His, his bum ass was turned up in a whole movie. I, bro, I love John Singleton. I love John Singleton films. But if you want to know a movie that pissed me off, because I feel like it's so real, it's Baby Boy. Yeah, Baby Boy, real movie. Him riding in her car. Him having a, him having a baby mama, he smashed and then trying to go home and smash his girlfriend. Yeah. Them hitting getting mad that his girlfriend got an ex nigga coming out of jail and staying on her couch. Yeah. Him mad his mama smashing. Like what you want, bro? Like golly. Is the fact that Jody was so behind bro. <laughs> in life, bro, that he mad at everybody else. That's the whole premise of the. And I hate this. He fucking up everybody else's life. He's fucking up everybody. His life is not right. Literally, bro. His mama can't get no dick. His girlfriend can't get no dick. Baby mama can't get nothing. He ain't taking care of the kids. Like he's not taking care of the kids. Now he whooping niggas out of jail. Like what are we doing? And he's he's getting emotional. He's crying. Oh my goodness. I need money. Melvin put me in the headlock. I can't. <laughs> niggas still young niggas Selling stealing my dresses. bike. Oh my goodness. He did get robbed by some young niggas. He gets robbed I by hate, some I young hate, niggas. I hate baby I hate that movie. You're okay to hate that. You can hate Baby it Boy. Ma- Anybody can hate Baby Boy, but when you watch it, you got to watch oh, it. Oh, yeah, like, no. 
I mean, it's, it's not. A, I don't say I hate it because it's a bad, it's a good story. It's a good story. Yeah, it's like a good movie. It makes it sense. It's real life. That's really how people be living. But you down. hate Jody. I hate what he's. Yeah, I hate what he's doing. The hate- movie opened. Uh, is she pregnant or she gave him an st? She gave. Jody gave Yvette an st. Like he was just. He just causing trouble every which way. His he's mama called- would just want to smoke cigs in the backyard and plant. Melvin trying Darn. to get some coochie before he go build a house like. Everybody being grown and living. And here comes Jody just fucking it up. Cry baby. The movie opened with him in the womb. Yeah. Tyrese big ass in the womb. Grown man in the simulated womb. I don't like she got back together with him. Cause he ain't get he ain't even get his life together. He just whooped Snoop Dogg at, he killed Snoop Dogg and that was the whole movie. That's and all you needed. It makes sense. You need a job. That's he what he needs. Need. A, a stable job. <laughs> he got two but, kids in one way. Killing his ops sufficed. For the time being, I mean, it was either Snoop Dogg died, he go back to jail. Like it wasn't like he had like he supreme had, options. He didn't have a way out. No, I like, he you go to your girl ex girlfriend house. The day I will say this: jail. Tyrese played that role phenomenally, well. yes, phenomenally well. Like you would think, you would walk past Tyrese and probably be like that bitch ass nigga Jody, and just look at him. And he'd be like, "I'm gonna know baby boy of Fast and Furious." That's okay. You can do that. Okay, you can do that. <laughs> yeah, Fast and Furious was good, but. Baby it's a boy lot. is like Baby Boy is like the one. Like yeah. you know Baby Boy when you see it here. Yeah. BT gonna play it. Oh god. That's how I, I know Baby did. Boy so well. BT played the he- hell out of Baby they Boy. They probably running that bitch right now. Right. I wouldn't put it past you. That or that's BT all they run. actually loves Tyrese. Tyrese yeah. Gibson, for sure. They, they gonna play his music, they're gonna play his movies. They gonna they gonna give him his flowers yeah. too. Like Tyrese, yeah. they let's like, play they Ways like Deep. <laughs> Let's play Ways Deep today and Baby Boy tomorrow. Let's they put Ways Deep. Ways right. Deep gonna come on at like two in the afternoon, and then they gonna put Baby Boy on at night at eight p.m. Here's yep. Here's a little you, you wind down your evening, people. Ways Deep. You Ways know. Deep get you riled up. Yeah, it's still then, sun. That movie kind of sunny. And then Baby Boy just kind of like whew. for sure. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, okay. I like that. I like that too. That was cool. That was cool. You got that. Yeah, appreciate. It. Pre- I mean, those were easy ones. They weren't too hard. I mean, the first one that, got that you. That's all good. I needed. I needed the in okay. your good luck streak, your, your undefeated streak, because I'm a hater. Be a hater. It's good. The rest of the two, I'm like, if you slip in, then I got you. But give me another two. I just wanna, I just wanna see if I, you know, let me get my reps in. You want, you want another two? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. We could do that. I'm yeah, good, I got two more. In. I don't get no fuck. Yeah, huh. You ain't got this one. <laughs> and no, I'm keeping these all in range. You've seen all of them. You can hit it out the park. I'm going to get it. Even if I ain't seen it, I'm going to be like, I know mm-hmm. what movie that's from. That. You can do a movie I, I ain't seen. That. I ain't seen American Gangster. You can do that. I... You know, the baseball crack. That's my favorite sound. You ready? Go crazy. You got to snap some collars and let the motherfuckers know you're here to take them out anytime you feel like it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I, get, I, get, I, get, I delivered that just now. I delivered that shit. Got to snap some collars. Mm-hmm. Same right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the next quote. It's the same character. Okay. One. If I lose, I'm gonna beat, beat your ass. ass. <laughs> and two. If I lose, I'm gonna beat that ass. That's Ice Cube in. Snap some collars. What to do about it. It's a Friday. No. It's all about the Benjamins. Shut up. <laughs> what? I know it's Ice Cube. It's Friday after next. Shut the fuck up. Is that your lock? I'm going to beat. Yeah, it's Friday after next. <laughs> what is it? All about the Benjamins? What is it's it? juice. Shut it's up. It's fucking juice. Yes. Oh my god, when they were at his house. No, 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 when they were playing video games. And he was like, give me a quarter. And he was like, in the, in the yeah, stove, yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah, no, you you, you were wrong. Because you see, honestly, you should have let me finish the quote. I thought you were done. Two, if I lose, I'm going to beat that ass. So pop two quarters in, pop tart, and let's get this game on. I'll be getting that ass. Exactly. Oh yeah, I would have had it off of that. Cause Ice Cube say something like that and something else. He do, but not this movie. Gonna, then uh, I was like, what is, I was like, what is Ice Cube breaking collars in? He ain't uh, breaking collars. He's not on it today, boys. 
She's not on me today. I'll, you know, there's always tomorrow. I'll redeem myself. I'll come back. I ain't, I ain't worried. I ain't scared. You think, you think I don't know my movies? You think I don't know my shit? And then I'm going to do one more. Okay. Okay. The last this, one. This is like when you leave the gym. She you got to make this show. Damn. Watch me. Come on. Rusty. I ain't seen Juice. I ain't lie. I ain't seen Juice in a minute. Because Juice is like when you see it for the first time, you can't. It's not a rewatchable. You know what I'm saying? Not like, the first, it? Not in the first span of like a week. That movie is like, it's real. I'm talking about The Wire. That movie is real gritty. Like, and it's real. It's a little darker. It's New York City. It's a lot of nighttime stuff. Let me see. Let me see. That was good. I know what it was, nigga. Pop t- uh I was gonna say Snoop Dogg. Tupac is act. He's a thespian. Like real. I felt like I was delivering that shit too, though. No, you did. When I you feel said like Colorado, every time we do quotes and it's my turn, I mm-hmm. really deliver them. Yeah, Not true. saying you don't. No, no, I, 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 I know, I know my strong suits. Yes, yeah, yes, like, yes. Like for a, a quick two seconds, I thought I was Pac. Okay. I thought I was Bishop, and I thought I'm finna kill a nigga. I thought I'm finna kill my partner. Right. Both three, you gonna shoot all three? All three of them, Got for real. Got it. And no goal after that. You yeah. know what was so sad about that? He had a son. Who? Light skin. Ride him it. No, no, Rodimid. no. What's that boy? Homeboy. Ride, Ooh. Ride, ride, ride. It's not hard. I'm trying to think. Wow. The actor is Khalil Kane. I don't know his she won't character know the actor, name. Man. We forgot that nigga. It's sad because R.I.P. him. Yeah, he had a baby. I was like, oh, man. Damn. That's why he I showed it. Yeah, they showed he his showed baby. his girlfriend. Yeah. And he wanted to take care of the baby. And she was mad. And they wanted to be in a relationship. Steel Q Bishop and. Shut up. What is it? Say it again. Steel Q Bishop. D- D- Dom. Go again. Please don't Still do Still Q Bishop. Stop. Still Q Bishop. We're, we're hurting him. We're hurting his legacy uh, by doing that. You know, what is it? Sorry to, sorry to, when you say it, I'm going to be so mad. I know. I'm going to be mad. Because we should know it. Yeah. Roger, RJ, TJ, Zach, uh, Nick, uh, Louis. Raheem. I said Rodimus. I, I, it, that's like, it had to be some real old school 90s nigga shit, like, real talk. That wasn't bad. I got her. This is another one for me to take home to dub. <laughs> Film culture You ready? Yes. What? Don't be stepping on these floors, motherfuckers. I just painted that shit. What? Don't be stepping on these on those flowers, motherfuckers. I just painted that shit. Shut up. Oh, I know. I What's know. What's going on? I know it's Miss Hokin. Yeah, <laughs> next Friday. <laughs> Ho- what did you say? He said Hokin, motherfucker. Hokin. <laughs> he was like, "Hi, Miss Ho. We got to go. Bye." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, I'm know. like, I'm, I'm still her. Please don't, please don't get it misconstrued. I guess you kind of get points for that one. I mean, that was kind of easy. It's your one and your wheezy, man. This shit. So on that note, you guys, thank you so much for tuning. That's what they be doing on TikTok. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> if you actually physically saw that with your eyeballs, I'm sorry. Congratulations. I'm sorry. It's the goop talking. Um, and this is enjoy the show with the film culture. And thank you, Isa, for coming out as always. Thank you guys for listening and watching. And Subscribe, all that. Subscribe to everything that we have. And um, we'll be here tomorrow and the next day and the next day just producing, just creating content, just making things here for you, keeping you informed with all of your new updates, everything black and cultured. Am I right or am I right? Yes, sir, you are. Kevin, I am signing off. And I am now signing off as well, man. Good night, y'all. See y'all later. Love y'all. Thank you for everything we do. All right, bye. Peace.